Hello YouTubers, uh, this is Irish Prepper. Uh, it's been a, a little while since I was, since my last uh, video, uh, but I'm here now and and uh, I just want to talk about protecting your home. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a couple little you know techniques that that the military and uh, law enforcement actually use. Um, you know when they're protecting. Uh, or planning on how they're going to protect uh, their, you know, any situation that they might be in. So, you know, because like simple techniques and proper planning will almost always win out against even such heavyweights as, as firepower and willpower. Okay? The reason is understandable. It's simplicity. Because it is easy to remember, easy to carry out, and easy to communicate the concepts. Uh, they will be easier to implement in stressful defensive situations. Okay, not all defensive situa situations will get to the point of, you know, stressful interaction. However, if the proper amount and type of planning is utilized, um, the singular goal of any defensive posture is to avoid completely the situation which will present imminent danger and stress. An essential building block in the defense uh, planning arena. Is to uh, arena is to understand the risks that will be faced, and to understand how to mitigate them. All right. Notice the word mitigate was used to not minimize. The goal is to completely disarm the chance of risk through proper technique and preparedness. Okay. Sure, it would be cool to be a black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu master, or have a ton of Delta Force training, but a vast majority of those, um, you know looking at this video um, you know you know coming here and going from prepper to prepper channel you know prepper channel to prepper channel um, there <laughs> you know it's not that's not gonna be um, uh, very likely okay uh, for them to uh, it, it would be more likely uh, that they would rather just avoid the hand to hand combat okay or having to kill someone in defense of their family property or life uh, then to actually perform those actions okay they'd rather just avoid the whole thing entirely so it's important to remember that when in defense postures the goal is life preservation not the opposite guns and lethal force are considered an essential component to an overall defensive and self-sustaining lifestyle but they are not the only comp the only component okay um, simple techniques developed to incredible levels by military and law enforcement can be of huge importance in a situation uh, which may be physiologically, psychologically, or emotionally disturbing. Um, these types of techniques have been proven in battlefields um, and significant stress positions throughout the years and can bring a peace of mind and surety and capabilities that few firearms or lethal offense equipment can okay um, use them in combination these techniques that I'm about to talk to you about use them in combination with uh, equipment and training that is already in your possession okay to add confidence and maybe even realistic upgrades to your overall defensive uh, let's say portfolio okay some easy techniques um, are you know Basically, I'm going to give you a couple easy techniques, okay? And uh, if this video starts to get too long, I'm going to break it down into two separate videos, okay? Um, first technique, okay? And yes, I call it a technique. It sounds a little bit odd when I say what it is, but just be resourceful, okay? The military uses 9mm, okay, on almost all of their sidearms, okay? This was implemented in part to help avoid concerns on the battlefield of running out of ammunition. Choosing a cartridge utilized around the world made the chances greater that fallen enemies would have usable ammunition for empty magazines to use. Okay? Assume that uh, mainstream public, or assuming that the mainstream public will make decisions based on the information within the mainstream channels, for example, most people will be using calibers and guns which are widely available and widely talked about. Okay? You might see more people using a 9mm handgun for home defense than, say, a 357 SIG. Okay? Now, for most ballistic experts, you'll, uh, that, 
sorry, let me start again. Now, most ballistic experts will explain that the 357 SIG is an incredible, uh, incredibly dynamic cartridge, but they also admit it is much harder to find that ammo, okay, than a 9mm cartridge. Now, why does this matter? If you are in a bad situation and need to sca uh, scavenge for ammunition, you may be able to find a 9mm round easier uh, than a 357 SIG round, okay? It may be the, uh, the determining factor when you go to buy a gun. Should you spend $500 on a quality 9mm and a bit of ammo to help carry you through extended situations of need? Or should you choose that 357 SIG instead? Okay? You will likely be in a better position by having a 9mm gun. Okay? Even if it is uh, your primary defense weapon, you should, ext uh, should extend the turmoil exists in the future. Okay? One might argue that stopping power is king. Okay? But stopping power means nothing if you run out of ammo. Okay? It's a thought. Okay? Not an order, obviously. Uh, it makes sense of these simple techniques and why they are used to gain insight for your planning okay you may be a fan of the 45 ACP but that won't counteract the fact that the 9mm is the most popular cartridge of all time think about your worst case scenario when planning okay for the second technique I would you know say use your surroundings to your advantage okay military and law enforcement use what is already in the human DNA the, the desire to get out of the way of flying deadly objects, okay? Utilizing buildings, a vehicle, or the surroundings to avoid flying bullets, rocks, or <laughs> Molotov cocktails is a technique used daily in the conflicts that take place around the globe, and for good reason. I mean, you can take a couple looks at some of the, the videos uh, of things going on in Greece right now, you know, and over there in Europe and, and uh, the Middle East and stuff. I mean, just take a look at what the people do, and you can kind of tell how what what the natural thing is um, doesn't matter where you are and who or who you are, okay. Um, this um, technique, okay, of using your surroundings is very simple, but most of the importance should be paid to prior planning, okay. Understanding the scenarios you're most likely to be using during a defensive situation will help you to recall which areas to move to for avoidance of dangerous situations, okay. You don't want to be around a bunch of glass. If people are going to be throwing rocks, okay. <laughs> All right. Knowing how things are constructed can help to avoid dangerous situations from a hurricane uh, to flying bullets. I mean, did, did you know a phone book can stop a 22 long uh, long rifle bullet without too much effort? Okay, not even a thick phone book, just the smaller ones. Okay. Um, now it's readily apparent that the scenario in which you will find yourself holding a phone book while someone shoots at you with a 22 is few and far between but the ideology is still important this might show how a car can help absorb and deflect a 38 special bullet or how a carbon fiber canoe could be used to avoid debris flying at 50 plus miles per hour okay understanding the building techniques and materials in a given item or building could help you uh, to avoid situations in, a com in uh, uncomfortable situations okay um, and I'm actually going to stop the video right there. I'm going to uh, break it down into the next video. And uh, I've got a couple more things that we could talk about. So I hope you will rejoin me uh, with uh, video number two on how to protect your home. Okay? So thank you very much. And you, we'll see you in a little bit. All right? I just prep her out.